Wagner. So um, for more, uh, let's go ahead and talk to our friends from First Take, Stephen A. Smith, joining us live, as well as Max Kellerman. Guys, it's one thing to lose a game. It's another thing for play players, teammates to go at each other like that publicly. Stephen A., what's going on in Seattle? Well, they're a dysfunctional unit. There's no way to slice it. I mean, first, personally speaking, I didn't have a problem with what Earl Thomas said. Uh, I think Bobby Wagner's being a bit too sensitive in this particular situation because it's not like the man said you're a scrub, you can't play. He's saying that you were injured. You're usually running from sideline to sideline, but it's a situation where be due to injuries, you just couldn't do it on this particular afternoon, and he was absolutely right. When you consider the abundance of injuries that they've been suffering from, it's easy to attribute their demise uh, to such things. But I'm a guy that harkens back to when they lost the Super Bowl to the New England Patriots. I've, I've been a stickler for this. I know guys inside that locker room. I've spoken to them personally. And this team has never been the same since the day that Pete Carroll and Darryl Bevel made the call. Instead of giving it to beast mode, Marshawn Lynch, they decided to let Russell Wilson throw that pass, you know, similar to what Ben Roethlisberger did yesterday, by the way. And it cost them a Super Bowl championship. They have never been the same bunch since that day. It has nothing to do with yesterday's loss, but the, the dysfunctionality that has raked through this franchise, that's where this started. I think the problem for Wagner is that Thomas said something publicly. If you want to say something, you say it privately. I agree with Wagner about that, although then Wagner clapped back publicly, which is just as bad. It's not an issue of who started it. What's going on? Sure, a division may have, may have been sown at that point, Stephen A., Back then, when, the, when it divided the locker room, fine. But what's really going on now, the reason it's persisting, is because a defense, as Thomas Hobbs wrote in Leviathan, Stephen A., the life of a defense is nasty, brutish, and short. And these guys are all about 30 years old now, the whole legion of boom. They're an older, expensive defense.